Let's put a little bit more hot water in here. Just a little bit more. This is some Castile soap that I bought from Amazon. Once again, I looked for the most natural kind of soap I could find. Kind of an old fashioned. says all in one and that means that you can use it for everything. A bit more. This thing is heavy you guys. I keep it on my stove. My natural humidifier but also instant warm water. So this is just me trying to wash my fine, finer shirts by hand for our enjoyment and a little bit of a nostalgic viewpoint of how we used to do laundry. Take the soap and put it directly on the areas that need a little the other thing too is I wanted to actually use something that was authentic to the day long ago. As, as I tried to tell most people, um, there are two versions to every video that I do, so if you don't like my talking, please check out the no talking version of this video which will be uploaded the next day. I'm doing this in my kitchen by the way. I am using the little black table that I have sitting beside 
inside my old oak antique refrigerator. <laughs> and if I haven't already, I gotta tell you the story about that. My husband and I were in Reno and uh, we were doing some personal errands out there and uh, we went uh, passing the time we went into an antique store. I was looking for a particular unit that would go right where my refrigerator is. Uh, my husband just, okay, I'll back up a little bit now. I'll tell you. I wanted to put my Hoosier in the kitchen here. I don't see any dirt stains on here. Well, maybe a little something. Um, anyway, dear, so the Hoosier would have fit perfectly right next to the refrigerator where all of this, um, faux bread and, um, you know, my candle is and everything. So it would have sat right there. In the back of it would fit too, but it would be, mm, the upper right part of it would, would go beyond the stair rail. And he just couldn't stand the thought of it. He was just like, no, no, no has to have a wall behind it. You can't see the back of the Hoosier going up the stairs. That's not right. I'm like, what? I don't care. You know, nobody's going to go up the stairs unless they live here. So it's, what's the big deal? Well, anyway, so I had to put my Hoosier somewhere else. Um, I would have put it in the dining room, but across from the table is a dryer. You guys, this house is so tiny. So, eventually he's going to build me a separate little laundry room on the back of the house. And then after that is built, I will be able to put my Hoosier right across from the dining room table. And it'll just be so lovely. It really will. But right now it's in the entry room. Anyway, so my hand is empty space sitting there refrigerator and um, and that's because well oh my gosh there's no way to explain all the logistics of how my furniture has played musical chairs in this house it's like put it here no now we gotta move it now we gotta put it over there no, okay. Okay. so finally finally we landed on um just sort of a piece of furniture right beside my refrigerator. So I was looking for the bottom half of a leisure because I thought it would be really great to have uh, an antique there, but that was, you know, looked kitcheny, you know, it's like, okay, bakers, the bottom of a baker's rack, perfect. We walked into that antique store, and one of the first things I saw was this incredible refrigerator antique ice box. It's actually it's called an ice box. And so, um, uh, I looked at it, and I looked at it, and I could see that it was functional and everything. And um, so I thought, oh. So I'm not gonna be able to get that. But I took a chance and I asked the owner, I said, how much do you want for this ice box? And he said $349 or $369. So anyway, I just went, what? Seriously? He goes, yeah. Okay, I want it. I mean, I didn't even hesitate. I was just like, I didn't even ask uh, my husband uh, if it was okay. It's just like, oh, I, I want it. And so, um, I, 
uh, went to pay for it. And I started to hand him my credit card. And he says, no, I'm sorry, we don't take credit cards here. It's either cash or a check. And he says, and, you know, and a check is fine. Uh, I, said, but I said, I don't have a check either. Oh my gosh. I was going, how can I let this thing go? You know, okay, we'll go to an ATM or a bank or something. Go get cash. And this man just looked at me and said, I trust you for it. And I'm like, I don't know what that means. What do you mean? And he said, you can take this home with you right now. And I expect you to put a check in the mail and send it to me. I was like, what? And he goes, he says, you know, <laughs> we went into this really long talk about how people need to be trusted. And it was almost like a lesson slash, you know, lecture. <laughs> Yeah, don't you agree? He says, I say, yeah, sure, I do. Um, and then the longer we talk, he says, he's just like, he says, I'm looking into your eyes and I think I can trust her. <laughs> he says, you look like and you seem like a very trustworthy person. You take this home with you. So we didn't have to go to an ATM, and um, I mean, as soon as we got home, like, just the very next day, because we were pretty tired after all that trip. And we went and wrote him that check. This is like, kidding, I'm so happy, so happy to um, pay him the money for this beautiful, beautiful antique icebox for such a fantastic price. Well, yeah, that's that story. It's just uh, an amazing unit, and I love it, and it's mostly for decoration. But uh, the more I looked into the icebox and really looked at how it worked, I thought, You know, just blocks of ice kept in the bottom, and of course you had to keep after it and make sure that you got rid of the melted ice as the time went by, and there, you know, the water, take the water out and drain it, or whatever. But this ice box is in very good condition. And I didn't try to refinish it or anything. And I just think it's so sad when people do that. So I just cleaned it. Put a little furniture, furniture oil on the top. And just try to preserve it the best I can. It's very pretty. And um, you will see it in future videos. But if you're curious about what the front of my icebox looks like. Uh, you can refer back to my uh, Mexican casserole cooking video that I just did.
really just bring these together, all the colors in my kitchen, so much nicer. These um, shirts, these short sleeve shirts, have just been an absolute godsend for the summertime for me. Where I just don't love showing my wrinkly old arms. You know, sometimes being comfortable and cool is more important than our vanity. And, um, yeah, so these, these types of shirts are just so nice and uh, light. They're a nylon of sorts. Um, and they're called tunics. And of course, they cover up the derriere. <laughs> and they're very forgiving to a larger figure like mine. So I've uh, been a really appreciating these blouses, and I'll pull them out this summer to wear more often. I was so happy when I first discovered tunics. Um, and, uh, you know, <laughs> see, I noticed that a lot of people, uh, women, are wearing them, whether they be thin or not. But it's the larger women's dream article of clothing because One day, my sister, she was just, you know, telling, she's a little bit older than me, and she was telling me how frustrated, not the other day, I think it's been like two years, I think, she was saying, I am so frustrated because my weight keeps fluctuating, and now my figure's changing, and my weight is going to my tummy, and it's like hanging over my pants. <laughs> but I was just like, okay, now. Welcome to my world. Um, I don't know. Um, she just doesn't have the same weight issue that I do. But, um, uh, I said, well, I don't know if you've ever heard of the kind of shirt that's called a tunic. But, um, let me introduce you to it. And so I sent her a whole bunch of different links and the photographs and things to where she could buy a tunic and what it looked like. Let's get this out of here. Get this out of here. Okay, now you see my new tub. I needed a metal bucket like the other one. It's interesting how you can see how the other tub is, has kind of aged with the years that I've owned it. About five years I guess I've had it. And so this one's a little deeper. So we're just gonna rinse these as best we can here. Oh yes, I was telling you. So, um, my sister just, uh, she bought herself a couple of tunics and she was so, so happy about it and how it kind of, uh, hid her uh, stomach rolls. <laughs> so then she's going, yeah, but I still have these stomach rolls hanging over my pants. I just don't know about those blue jeans anymore. Let me introduce you to yoga pants, or exercise pants. <laughs> so the next order of business <laughs> was to um, send her some links and pictures of 
these kind of very stretchy, forgiving pants. And she's so happy. Uh, that's all she wears now is tunics and stretch pants. And it's just adorable. I love it. Okay, I'm not going to be able to get all the water out of these. I know I'm not. So I'll give them another squeeze later on once they've settled down. Right now, mostly the only thing we're rinsing out is soap because there isn't that much, um, there really isn't that much, um, dirt or residue in these shirts. Now you gotta stay tuned though because I'm going to be putting these shirts on a dryer rack and the beauty of a dryer rack is that I can have it right next to my stove. I have a, um, a kerosene oven stove slash heater. I don't even know what you call it. It looks just like a wood-burning stove, but it's, it's not gas, um, but it works a lot like gas, I guess, and then it just had this fuel coming in and a flame right down the center, middle, bottom of the as big as it is, but you will see part of it when I go to hang these clothes. So, I'm going to hang them on the rack right in front of my stove. I guess if I didn't have that kerosene stove in the kitchen here, I would probably just set these in the front of my electric oven. But it's still just chilly enough outside that I'm not going to go, uh, you know, forget line drying. I don't want to do that. Maybe this spring or summer I might be able to use a clothesline. We'll see. I'm almost done here. shirts to do. You see the water is not too, too filmy or dirty. Um, so, I feel confident about how clean these shirts are for drying. Every once in a while, I will wear or buy a shirt that comes from the Goodwill or something like that. And this one in particular is case in point. Um, just for the sleeves to be in a video. It may not fit perfectly in the body, but the sleeves are so beautiful. So it's like a prop. a few shirts like that that I just won't wear into public. Okay. Let's get these hung up. You can see my stove. Get a really good view of the blue door to my bedroom. And I just wonder if that door is like a door that used to go outdoors. It has a glass uh, pane in it and I covered it because of need for privacy in the bedroom. But my husband has bought some doors and he to replace all of these old 
not even old. you a very nice day. See you 